Welcome to interface configuration example on Nokia service routers. In this service router example, we will configure interfaces of Nokia 7750 service routers and let's start. Here we will use the IP addresses on the screen for system addresses and uh, for interface addresses. Uh, let's start with uh, router 1. We'll use configure keywords to go to the configuration mode. And uh, for interface configuration, uh, we'll uh, create an interface. For example, let's uh, configure this interface firstly. This is an, the interface going to the uh, second router. So I will write a name interface to R2. And here I'll give the IP address. Yes, and I will use the shutdown command here, and uh, I will give a description. Uh, for example, I can say that uh, R1, R2 interface here, and uh, I will assign a port here, uh, 111 port. Because in uh, GNS3 it is connected to uh, Ethernet uh, 1, uh, this is uh, corresponding to port 111 here. Yes, now let's configure the other interface. This interface. Alright, to R3. address yes now shut down now open the port and the description and lastly I will assign a port one one two this time now uh, let's configure uh, system uh, address here. One one one. Yes. Yes, it's okay. Now I'll uh, save our configuration. Oh, uh, before saving uh, the configuration, uh, let's open the ports. Because they are uh, shut down by default. Yes. To save our configuration, we will use admin save command. It's okay. So, uh, Let's uh, check uh, our uh, interfaces here. As you can see, our interfaces are configured and up. And uh, we'll also use admin display config command uh, to check our configurations here. As you can see, our ports are now shut down, and, and uh, here are the interface configurations. Everything seems uh, okay in router 1. Now let's do the same configuration on router 2 and router 3. And then we will verify our configuration by uh, pinging uh, to the interfaces.
Yes, our uh, interfaces are up uh, and okay. Now let's uh, go to router tree and do the configuration for router tree. Yes, our interfaces are up here. And uh, our ports are now shut down. In this uh, third switch, we can use these ports, not this one. And our interfaces are okay. Now let's use a ping command uh, to check the connectivity between our directly connected interfaces and we will uh, also check the routing table here. Uh, in the routing table uh, there will be no routing but uh, we will see the directly connected interfaces and the system interfaces on each router. Now firstly let's check uh, our routing table. Here there will be no routing, but you will see the directly connected interfaces and the system interface here. Uh, and uh, after that, let's ping the interface of the third router. As you can see, it's successful. In this interface configuration example, we have configured Nokia 7750 service routers interfaces. In the following videos, we will see static routing and routing protocol configurations for our undirectly connected networks.